welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video now this video is going to be a full-fledged video in this video i will be talking about ios 18.3.1 i will be sharing the battery life and the performance and also i will be taking your comments so this is a weekend this is another q a video so let's can jump into this video now first thing first i will be talking about the battery life so I will go to the settings over here into the battery section and over here into the last 10. These are the days while I'm using iOS 18.3.1. And if I go over this day where I used about 75% of my battery and I got almost 4 hours and 30 minutes screen on time. The, as you can see, I used Facebook, WhatsApp and some other applications. And in terms of battery life, this was a bad day. The very next day over here, as you can see, I again use 75%, but this time the result is very surprising. So as you can see, I use 75% again. At this time, I got the best screen on time, almost eight hours of screen on time over here, as you can see. And during this time, I use YouTube a lot, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp, Prime Video, even Netflix for a bit, Threads for a bit, and a lot of media related applications. And this time I got a really, really good screen on time. And I'm very happy with this screen on time. And battery life seems very much improved over here. Now, if I go to the this day over here, where I use around 80 to 85% of my battery life. And I got 8 hours and 24 minutes screen on time, which is again, very, very good. I use YouTube a lot, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, and some other applications as you can see. So battery life seems very much improved. 18.3.1 is going so far so good. Now it's time to talk about the Geekbench score over here. So far while using the device, I am not getting any sort of problems. No bugs, no lags, nothing is going on. Performance is really good. I am not even facing heating issue at all. And if I go to the Geekbench app over here to show you the score, CPU benchmark, CPU history, I got on the 18.3.1, 2382 on a single core, while 5937 on a multi-core. Now, if I share the average single core iPhone 14, that is 2251, while on 18.3.1, I'm getting higher than the average one, which is a really good sign of a good performance. And just like that, if I go to the multi-core, the average iPhone 14 multi-core scores are 5524, while on this device running 18.3.1, I'm getting 5937, which is again really good. So on paper, CPU scores are really, really good, which is a very big plus point over here of the 18.3.1. If I go to the GPU benchmark again running 18.3.1, I got... 21070 over here and if i compare it with the average one i got higher than the average now average iphone 14 score is 20411 and i'm getting on this 18.3.1 is 21070 but this is a good score it is a really better scores for example if i go to the this update this was 18.3 betas update and i got 21569 so meta scores are a bit good any sort of issue so, so far in this video, I talk about the battery life and I also talk about the Geekman score. Now it's time to take your comments and talk about that how things are going on from your side. So I'm into the YouTube studio all ready to read your comments. So starting with the very first one, iPhone 14 charging time heating problem. I'm also using iPhone 14. I'm not facing any sort of heating problem. So maybe you are using a bad charger. If you are still using a good charger, good cable, try to put your phone or airplane mode while charging. It might fix the problem. Or you can also restart your device once. Maybe something in the background is running that is, um, you know, causing the heat. So you can try this couple of things. Is the Siri app on settings, Siri search instead of Siri Apple intelligence for iOS 18.4? Okay, basically this guy is asking, will we get Siri intelligence in 18.4? Well, on the non-AI iPhone, we are not getting Apple intelligence at all. If you want to use Apple intelligence, you need iPhone starting iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, 16 and complete 16 lineup. 
if you, even if you are using a normal iPhone 15, we are not getting Apple Intelligence at all. So for the Apple Intelligence, the minimum requirement is iPhone 15 Pro. Okay, so over here, um, this guy is saying, uh, I did a video in which I talk about how you can fix the headache problem. It's iPhone 10 as I think I used iPhone 14 for that video, but for sure you can also apply these things um, on any other iPhone, no problem. Okay, I am back. My phone ran out of storage. Anyways, coming back to the question. Share shortcut sheet not showing. I'm added three shortcut but not showing anyone. Please help me. You might be adding in it a wrong way. I will make a video about this, a short video about this. So make sure to subscribe the channel. Have one updated from iOS 17. I had 18 but 14 14 is bad and 16. So I'm not sure. So this person is still using iOS 17. I'm um, on iPhone, um, being very honest, 18.3.1 is going so far so good. But definitely when it comes uh, to a new features, 18 is packed with amazing features. And when it when there are new features, they will be consuming more battery life. So no matter what, iOS 18 at some point will be con consuming more battery life than the iOS 17. Because iOS 17 has less features. So if you want to enjoy new features, you might have to compromise on a bit of the battery life. But overall, things are going good. Some people are actually facing problem. I can't say anything about that. Once you upload the What's on my iPhone 24 video, can you go through every app on your iPhone, including Apple apps? I am planning to make What's on my iPhone video. And I will bring it um, ASAP, hopefully. Battery life is just amazing on 18.3.1. I have 13 Pro Max, 85% battery health, getting 9 plus hours screen on time. And as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. For some people, battery life is going really, really good. Things are really, really good. But some people are actually facing issues. So it is some kind of a mixed thing going on over here, as you can see. I have iPhone 10s. Battery backup is only 3 to 4 hours. Even I have replaced battery. But still facing same issue with 100% battery health. For the issue after I was in here, what can ultimate solution waiting for a reply? I did a lot of videos on my channel in which I talk about how you can enhance the battery life. And even my iPhone 10 is also getting good battery life after following those things. So make sure to check out those videos. If you guys want me to make another video in which I can talk about the ultimate ways to enhance the battery life, let me know in the comment section below. Now moving to the next thing is uh, the performance grade but too much call failure and battery issue. Call failure can be because of the network and the battery issue. I don't know what battery issue you are talking about. If you are facing battery draining, again I did a lot of videos. Go to my channel and check out those videos. Okay, so I have 14 plus and my battery backup is not good. Again, I think I should make another video about how you can enhance the battery life. So I think I'm going to make that video. Well, this is all from this video. These were some of your questions that I want to include in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will get you very, very soon. Until that, take care. Peace out.